guys welcome to another video in this one i will show you how i created these beautiful nails using all that is in this black box right here so this is a starter kit that i ordered from amazon it's from one of my favorite brands model ones and i thought i would start this video off by unboxing and showing you guys what's inside of this wonderful box <laughs> So the first thing you saw was a couple of rhinestones or crystals, I'm not sure what they're made of. And then we also have these instructions on how to use polygel, which is really good for beginners. Moving on, we also have this beautiful pink nail lamp. This is something that you really need in order to be able to do any kind of gel nails at all. And polygel is a kind of gel product because it's a mixture of gel and something else. I'm not sure what else it is. Um, but yeah, since it is uh, partly um, gel, you need a lamp in order for the product to dry. So that's why this is a crucial, crucial item in your collection if you want to do nails. Unfortunately, it comes with a plug that does not work in Sweden, so I'm not able to use this just yet. I'm going to have to buy an adapter in order to use this, but after I do, I will let you guys know what I think about this lamp. Moving on, we also have these flame stickers that were really, really trendy, but I haven't tried them yet. And we also have duo forms in this little bag. Next up we have some crystals. These are so beautiful. There are pink that are kind of shimmering in green. And then we also have the clear ones. And then we also have some stripes. These stripes came in every color imaginable. <laughs> and then we have another bag of dual forms. I think one bag has more curved dual forms and the other ones are more straight but i'm not sure i have no idea and moving on we also have a nail file this is a 100 180 grit nail file i'm going to be using most of the product in this kit for my nails except for all the decorative stuff obviously there are a lot of decor in this package here we have some nail forms and then moving on we also have some glitter as you can see we have a lot of glitter and I won't be able to use all of this in one set that would be a really funny set <laughs> so I'm just gonna use the holographic ones at the top and moving on we also have some nail foil these are really beautiful we have a golden and a silver one and I love nail foil you can do so many beautiful designs using that so I will definitely be using that one and then we have the poly gel, a pink one and a clear one. The pink one, I think, is a light in the dark poly gel, which is really interesting. I've never tried that before either. Um, and then we also have this trio right here. One of them is a primer and then we have a base coat and a top coat. And I'm going to be using all of these in this video as well. Next up, we also have this tool right here. And this is a pair of tweezers in case you want to pick up the stones with a pair of tweezers. And then we also have another poly gel. This one is in white. Every poly gel is a 30 milliliter tube. And then we have some slipping solution and a brush. All right, so this is what came in the kit. As you can see, we have everything we need to do a set of nails, or if not, multiple sets of nails, which is awesome. We have all these poly gels, we have a nail lamp, we have the slipping solution, the primer, base coat, top coat, the dual forms, we have the decorations, we have literally everything. This is such a good starter kit if you want to do blingy stuff and have multiple choices. All right, so let's get started with my nails. As you guys know, I like my nails kind of plain and boring, unfortunately. <laughs> so I'm going to be using one of the glitters in this kit along with the other products that I need to complete a full set. 
So starting off, I'm going to use this primer. I have already prepped my nails, so I'm just going to apply this primer all over my nails. And finally, I have a primer from Model Ones. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I always use the primer from another brand, which was so frustrating because it was really old and I needed a new one. And now I finally have one. And yeah, moving on, I'm going to apply one coat of base coat and I'm going to apply this to all of the nails and then cure this for 60 seconds under my LED lamp. After the base coat is cured, I put my dual forms right here so I can see them and then I grab my clear poly gel and the glitter that I'm going to be working with and I put a bead of poly gel inside of my dual form and I try to make it as accurate as the thickness of the nail that I'm trying to make. And then to maneuver the poly gel, we need some slipping solution and a nail brush. As my slipping solution, I use a hand sanitizer because I feel like this helps me maneuver the poly gel much easier than the actual slipping solution that you get inside of the kit. Now, if you don't have a hand sanitizer, you can use the slipping solution. It works fine. It's just not as convenient as the hand sanitizer. Now I'm just trying to maneuver the poly gel and create a nail, basically. <laughs> so this is going to be my thumbnail and I am just working so that it's, it looks as even as possible and preparing it basically for the glitter that I'm going to put on top of this. Notice that I'm not curing the poly gel before putting the glitter on and that's because we need the stickiness to adhere with the glitter. So I'm just patting the glitter onto the poly gel and yeah, it's really simple. You can just apply as much as you want. <laughs> when I'm happy with the glitter amount, I can put the dual form onto my nail. Now I'm trying to be as careful as possible and this took me a while actually to place it perfectly and be happy with the result. I had to take it uh, back and forth, back and forth. As you can see, it pulls down really easily and it was really hard to actually cover my entire thumb because it would either uh, go too far down and or too far up and I wouldn't get the perfect balance. I think I needed to use the more curved dual forms. I think this one is very flat. <laughs> However, when I was happy with the result, I cured it in the lamp for 60 seconds and then I popped off the dual form and I'm adding a little bit more poly gel underneath because it was way too thin um, at my tip and it didn't really connect with my natural nails so I had to add a little bit more product. And then I cured that again for 60 seconds in my LED lamp and now I'm doing the next nail so i'm going to do the same thing one more time i'm going to maneuver the product over the dual form and i'm trying to make it as even as possible and then dip my brush into the glitter and pat it into the poly gel while it is still sticky After I'm happy with how the glitter is looking, I'm going to carefully try to apply this onto my nail. And I have to be really careful here because we don't want any product touching our skin. Now this can be really tricky. 
and especially if you have a little too much glitter as you can see the glitter is kind of escaping but it's fine it's it turned out looking great anyway <laughs> So I'm just trying to perfect the nail from underneath. This is actually really tricky because you have to hold the dual form at the same time as you're maneuvering the product from underneath. But when you're happy with how it looks, you can put this in the UV slash LED lamp for 60 seconds. And now I'm just taking taking the duo form off and I'm gonna do the same thing to all of my nails and it is a messy job <laughs> but I'm going to cleanse the sticky layer off of my nails and I'm going to use the same hand sanitizer that I used previously to cleanse my nails and this is to remove the sticky layer I might already have said that but yeah <laughs> Now it's time to shape my nails and I like to take my time and file my nails. This can take me up to an hour to do because I love to have a beautiful shape on my nails. I feel like my nails just look so much better if they have a beautiful shape. Sometimes I even feel like the shape is better than the actual design. So you might have a gorgeous design but because the shape is so off, the entire set just does not look so good. <laughs> so I'm gonna use my e-file from McCart. I did actually show you guys an unboxing of this e-file. It's wonderful. I'm still using it and I love it. Because this part takes me so long, I'm actually not going to show you guys my entire filing process. Um, but take your time and make sure you are really happy with, with your nails before you move on. When I was happy, I just cleansed the surface of my nails in order to remove the oils and dirt that might be on the nail surface while filing, etc. Um, and after cleansing them, I applied a little bit of nail primer around my cuticle area and this is to prevent any liftings that might come um, if I put the top coat on top of my natural nail because right at the cuticles and sidewalls there might still be a spot where you don't have any poly gel on so in order to prevent any liftings I just put a little bit of primer on and then I apply my top coat on top of all of the nails and then I cure this for 60 seconds in my LED lamp.
So after curing my nails, I'm going to cleanse the sticky layer with the hand sanitizer that I used earlier. And this is to remove this sticky layer that we have on the surface. And after this is done, I'm going to move on to my last Step, and that is to apply some cuticle oil. I'm going to use my favorite cuticle oil from En Vogue and I just love this one so much. It's really, really amazing. And I'm going to massage it into my skin and my cuticles and just rub it into my hands. And yeah, this is the final result. I hope you guys liked this video. It was so much fun to make. I love my holographic nails. And yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. And if you're interested in these products, they are from Model Ones from Amazon. I will leave you a discount code in the description box down below. So make sure to check that out. And yeah, I hope you guys are taking care of yourselves. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.